Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this video here, I'll be showing you how to replace the gaskets on a VTEC solenoid for a 3.5 liter V6 found in a second generation Honda Pilot. This is a 2011 model and this engine was used in other Honda models as well, such as the Ridgeline and Odyssey. A leaking solenoid may cause variable timing issues if a leak is bad enough, but the biggest issue is oil leaking onto the alternator, causing the alternator to fail prematurely. Start by opening the hood and make sure the engine is cooler. Using a standard screwdriver, turn the clips on the front of the engine cover about a quarter turn counterclockwise. Then lift out the engine cover. Use the standard screwdriver to disconnect the clips on the wiring harness and lift it up slightly. This will give you a little extra room for pulling out that solenoid. Unclip the one electrical connector by pushing on the tang and then pulling straight up. Unclip the other electrical connector, same as previously, push on the tang and then pull it straight off. Next is using a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and ratchet. Remove the three 10 millimeter bolts. The one on the top is the longest and the two on the bottom are shorter. For this, I'm using my OEM tools, quarter inch ratchet and socket set from Mobile Distributor Supply. This is a great little set neatly packed in a portable case. A link to their website will be included in the video description. Once those bolts have been removed, the solenoid can be finally removed. A little push from the side should pop it free. Remove the metal plate. It may need assistance of a screwdriver to help pry it up. Another gasket will be below this. You'll need a pick or a small screwdriver to pry this up. Take your time and don't damage the gasket groove. My gasket was quite hard and ended up coming out in pieces. Also be careful not to drop any debris in the gasket groove or oil passages. I did try to clean up the solenoid with whatever I had to reduce the chance of any debris falling in during assembly. The solenoid also had the same type of gasket which I have already removed. As you can see the old gasket is extremely brittle, it doesn't take much to break it apart. Here's the new gasket kit, I'll include the link in the video description. Make sure the groove for the gasket is clean and then install the new gasket. Once in place, here it is. The kit also comes with new bolts, so I'll be installing those as well. Install the new gasket on the engine side. Make sure it is fully seated, otherwise you may prevent the solenoid from being seated properly, or you do risk damaging the gasket when it does get pinched. Install the plate. Then install the solenoid. Install those fasteners. Start them by hand first. As mentioned previously, the top bolt is the longest. Use a ratchet to slowly go around, tightening those three bolts at the same time. Make sure the solenoid does pull down evenly and it doesn't become caught up on the pins or risk pinching a gasket. Finally, finish up by tightening those bolts. The torque specifications for the 10 millimeter bolts is six foot pounds or eight newton meters. Clip in the electrical connectors. You should hear a snap once they're fully seated. Finish up by pushing the wiring harness back into place that goes across the front of the engine. Finally, reinstall that engine cover and you're officially done. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. Leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.